A cold sunrise dawns and the tide is running out in Swansea Channel. We're watching the early birds and waiting to see that most familiar of Swansea sights, the opening of the bridge. Bang on 7am, traffic stops, up go the spans and out go the waiting boats. Swansea lies north of Sydney where Lake Macquarie opens to the sea. But Swansea has a far more ancient story to tell. We're headed through Reeds Reserve and down to the rock platform at low tide. Here, relentless erosion by the sea has exposed the distant past and the story is written in the rocks. Fossilised tree stumps dot the platform, all that survives of an ancient forest which once grew in abundance here. The eruption of a now vanished volcano 20 kilometres to the east of here brought this forest to a catastrophic end. Trunks snapped off by the sheer force of the glass were then entombed in volcanic ash. As I wonder, it's difficult to imagine when Swansea was a place of exploding volcanoes and strange forests. The rocks reveal fossilised leaves of an extinct species which grew here eons ago in vast swamps. I wonder if the fishos ever stop to think of the wonders beneath their feet. Delving into history can make you ravenous, so we're off in search of breakfast. There's quite a crowd at Seed Cafe in the main drag and we enjoy a tasty bite to eat. Stay on for a bit, Swansea RSL claims the best dining views in town. From the sunny restaurant, it looks like the boat is a heading home. And it's time we headed home too.